All right, all right. So now that we actually created the ad, next is what to do with the leads that are coming in from these ads, right? So let's talk about this one software called Zapier.com. You're going to need the software to take the data that is coming in from the ad, the leads that are filling out their name, email, and phone number, and you want to automatically send that to places like a Google Sheet and as well as potentially a CRM that you're using, right? So let's talk about how that works. First of all, let's talk about plans with Zapier. You're going to need the starter $20 a month plan with Zapier to run this with Facebook lead ads. And I'll show you why that is in just a, a second. So let's just go into Zaps on the left-hand side and I'll show you an example of some zaps. Um, actually, what we can do is you can see uh, what it looks like when zaps are actually created. There are a lot of these are on. And let's just go from the very beginning of what it would look like to create a zap from scratch. So I'm going to click on make a zap. And as you can see, it's asking us to pick an app, right? So this is the first step in the app, which is called the trigger. So the first step here would be Facebook lead ads, right? So you would just type in Facebook lead ads if it didn't come up yet. And as you can see, this is actually a premium app, which means you need to pay Zapier to use this app. So you click on that, you get a new lead trigger. There's no other options in this case. So that's the one that you would choose. You would click on continue. You then would click on your ad account that you're using. So I'm just gonna use mine. And then I'm gonna click continue. Next, you wanna select the page that you're uh, running ads from. So in this case, um, we run a lot of ads from a page called my home search. Um, I could use the Long Island Home Experts one. So let's let's use that one right now just to give you an example. Since this is a brand new page and I actually haven't ran ads from it, so this will give you an idea of what it's gonna look like for you if you haven't run any ads yet. Next, you wanna select the form that you created for your ads, right? So the lead form. So this is the lead form. If you have a bunch of different lead forms, make sure to select the correct lead form. And then you wanna click on continue. Next, you want to test and review it. What this does is it pulls in some sample data, and this is going to be test data. We don't have any data that went actually through the lead form yet. Um, you can actually put in some data in your lead form once your ad is actually active. And the way that you would do this is in the action of your ad, what you can do is click on this little box in the ad preview, and then you can send a notification to Facebook on your device, and you can pull out your phone, and you can click on the learn more button, or even do the Facebook post with comments. And then what you would do is just um, scroll down to click on learn more, and then what you would do is from there, you'd actually fill out the form. But you can only do this once, and I've already done it with this ad, so uh, it's just bringing me straight to the thank you page. That way, what would happen is instead of getting data like this, where all uh, test leads and test email and test phone number, you would actually have the data that you inputted. And I'll explain why that's a bit more easy to work with in just a second. So the next step that you wanna do is, let's say you wanna just collect all your data and put it in a spreadsheet that you can save and now you own that data, right? So what you would do is you would create a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet. So let's just open the next step. Let's type in Google Sheets. And then select Create Spreadsheet Row. There's other things you can do in here, but in this case, we wanna create a new spreadsheet row. Click Continue. Select the account that it associated with your Google Sheets account. And the way that you can create a new Google Sheet if you don't know how to do that is when you're in Google, you just click on this little box right here, click on Drive, once that's been up, you would click on New on top left, 
and you would select Google Sheets. Now I already did this, so to make the video a little bit faster. So this is my sheet right now. And at the top, what we did is we just typed in full name, email, phone number, and if you have any other questions on your lead form, like moving timeline, you can add that as well. Uh, next, what you wanna do, so I'm just going to delete this, because I made this video more than once and it didn't uh, come out the way I needed to, I actually lost the audio, so let's go back here and click continue. So we'll go to the spreadsheet and I named it test real spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, so I wrote that at the top here and then there's actually a, a, uh, a worksheet at the bottom. You can't see it because of these buttons here right now, but um, you can rename that worksheet as well. So it just says sheet one down here and then it says test real spreadsheet. So you can name that whatever you want. So I need to select the right spreadsheet, which is this one. And then the worksheet that's associated with it, which is the only sheet in there right now, which is sheet one. Now it gives me fields to fill this data out. So we have two steps so far. We have Facebook leads and uh, Facebook lead forms. That's pulling in the data originally. So whatever step is prior to the one you're working with, you can pull data and put it into these fields. So when I click on full name, what happens is it gives me the option to put that data from that first step. So I put in full name, I put in email, and I put in phone number, right? And we can put in moving timeline as well if we have that option. So we can click on show all options here and scroll all the way down. For us, it's all the way down here where it says, when are you looking to move ideally? And that would be the data there. So as you can see in here, right now, only the top line is filled out. So let's show you an example of what would happen if a new lead came in through Facebook right now and it just had these two steps. So we're just gonna click on continue and we're gonna test this data. So we're gonna test and review it. So it says that it worked out, right? It says that it gave us the green light. It would be red and say that something didn't work if it didn't go through. So let's look at that sheet. Aha, so that data now has sent over. So this is what would happen automatically and this is the power of Zapier. It does this all for you so you don't have to think about downloading the data from your, your Facebook lead forms and doing this all manually. Next, what you would wanna do if you have a CRM that can follow up with these leads is add a step with that CRM. So we use a CRM called High Level. And next, what you would wanna do is add and update a contact and click continue. Select the account that you wanna use. Uh, let's say, let's use ours and click continue. Now, some CRMs can have some formatting issues with phone numbers, so if they, input the phone number in the Facebook lead form and it doesn't really sync up with your CRM, what you're going to, going to wanna to do is add a step previously to this step. So we usually like to do it right after the Facebook lead ads and just format the phone number that's coming in. So what we'll do is we'll click this and go to one of Zapier's own in-house apps that they've created to help solve these issues called Formatter. So what you do here is you just choose an action and we're working with numbers here. So we click on numbers. We want to transform that number and format a phone number. Now the input is the phone number that we want to reformat. So in this case with the test lead data, it's not going to work mainly because this is not a phone number, right? So, Let's just give an example here for now. I'm not going to use this. And the way that you normally would set it up is just click this and you'd have the phone number in there. And then what you would wanna do is just choose to reformat it. We like to use number eight. It works for our CRM really well with no symbols or international. And here we just choose uh, United States as far as um, 
country code. Oh, not kingdom, sorry. United States. And we would click continue. And it's going to tell me that this is not going to work if um, I actually try to test and review it because it's not a phone number, right? This is the input was test lead dummy data for phone number. So if I test and review that, it's going it's going to say that the output is this, but it's not a phone number. So um, it actually said it worked, but uh, in this case, it's not a phone number. So that's not what you would want, but um, you want to set it up that way though, just, just so when actual real data comes through, an actual phone number will come uh, into this input where it says phone number. So that now that that's all set up, what you would do in the step over here that would be different from any other step is you do the same thing that you would do in the spreadsheet as far as inputting the data. So you would take the data from the first step as far as full name, but for the phone number where the phone number was reformatted, you would use it from this number step and you would choose that step here. And that way the phone number will actually enter the CRM and it won't, um, it won't be stopped in any way. Next, we'll put the email just like we did before for the spreadsheet and whatever other data you have from the spreadsheet, uh, from the lead form, you can input into here as well. So for example, uh, let's say that this is a little bit different for us. This is actually a different question, but let's say this question said, uh, when are you looking to move ideally or something along the lines of that? So we would use that same data that we've used before, scroll all the way down and it says, when are you looking to move ideally? And we can put it in there. That way we have the da this data as well in the CRM. I'm gonna mark it as yes. And that is it. So uh, for the sake of this, I actually will test it out just to show you what it looks like when it comes into our CRM. So I think here, uh, just for the purpose of actually making it into the CRM, what I'm gonna do is just put a uh, fake number for now. So it won't, wouldn't make it otherwise. So I'm just gonna put uh, one, five, 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 <laughs> one, two, three, three, four, and one, two, three. So that should work. Um, I think so. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I'll uh, I'll just double check it. But let's continue this, and we're gonna test it. So I just want to make sure we're in our account. Um, let's see where it'll be. Huh? Where did I put it? Sorry, guys. Let me just pull that up. It's right here. All right, so let's go into our account, which is, uh, let's go to LeadSpring. All right. So I'm going to test and review that, and let's see if it actually works. So it says that it had success. So let's see, the um, it should be test lead. So I'm going to go into the CRM. I'm gonna go into our contacts and just see if that made it through. So I'm gonna take a look at Joseph. Let's say test. All right, so this is the contact that made it through and the phone number actually made it through too. So this is really the power of using Zapier, right? So instead of trying to babysit your Facebook ads and try to download the data and um, try to input it manually into your CRM, manually, manually into a spreadsheet, this can happen all automatically for you. And there's ways to set it up within the CRM that you actually have campaigns go out automatically to that lead as well. So you're following up with all the leads that are coming in from the ad and you're already starting the process of getting the conversation started and squeezing the juice out of the leads that you're generating from these ads. I hope that makes sense. And I'll see you on the next video where we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into this specific CRM and how it can really help automate the business that you're getting from these ads.